Hello friends, my name is Haley Hunt and I'm with Nye House Education Center. If you aren't familiar with Nye House, our mission is literacy success for all. We are here to give you some strategies so that all kids continue to learn and grow. Today we'll be talking about writing poetry. The poetry we will be writing today doesn't have to rhyme, but it will have beautiful rhythm and imaginative descriptions. Children of any age can write these simple poems to express their feelings or knowledge or interests, and they can choose any subject they wish for these poems. But before we write our poems, we need to make sure we all have the same definitions for some specific parts of speech. So we need a quick grammar lesson. Nouns. Nouns name a person, place, or thing. For example, mother, castle, or pool. Noun markers. Noun markers are also called articles. They show that a noun is coming. There are three noun markers, a, an, and the. Adjectives. Adjectives describe nouns. Large, beautiful, quick, and sleepy are all adjectives. Verbs. Verbs show action. The words run, fly, drink, and think are all verbs that show action. Prepositions. Prepositions show the position of one noun to another. Examples of prepositions are to, in, by, near, under, beside, and over. Lastly, adverbs. Adverbs can modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. But for today's poetry, let's use adverbs that modify verbs. For example, in the sentence, the dog ran quickly, quickly modifies the verb ran. And in the sentence, the horses graze today, today is an adverb that modifies the verb graze. So now that we know the different parts of speech we'll use, let's write our poems using these poetry frames. Today we'll learn to write two different poems, a diamante poem and a syncane poem. A diamante poem is shaped like a diamond. It has seven lines. The nouns on the first line and the last line will be your topic. Choose two nouns that are related, but are either opposites or show some kind of progression. For example, baby adult, caterpillar, butterfly student teacher, or summer winter. The next line is two adjectives that describe your first noun, and the third line is three verbs that apply to your first noun. The fourth or middle line is split into two parts. The first two nouns are related to the first line, and the last two nouns are related to your last line. You can see here that we have a slash to indicate the switch from the first topic to the second topic, but you don't need to include that slash in your final poem. Then repeat all of the lines going down the poem, but in relation to the last line. So line five is three verbs related to the last noun. Line six is two adjectives that describe the last noun. And then line seven is the last noun itself. So here is an example of a diamante poem that's completed about canines. Puppy, frisky, bouncy, chewing, licking, exploring, energy, curiosity, lethargy, dignity, Resting, watching, raining, stately sage, dog. Our second poem today is called a Sincane poem and it has five lines. You can choose any topic, but like this, you can choose any topic you like for this type of poem, but it helps to choose something that has motion, such as an animal, type of transportation, or something that you really can physically move. The first line of a Sincane is a noun. It is the topic of your poem. The second line lists two adjectives that describe the noun, and on the third line lists three verbs that relate to your noun. The fourth line is where it gets really interesting. You will write a phrase, a verb, preposition, noun marker, noun, and it will be something like this, flying through the air, or whistling down the track, or swimming under the sea. The fifth and final line of the Sincane poem is an adverb that describes the verb from the previous line, something like quickly, today, slowly, or beautifully. So here is an example of a Sincane poem that's completed. Butterfly. Delicate, colorful, flies, flutters, flits, dipping through the flowers gracefully. And there you have it, two types of poems children can write at home. There are so many ways to make writing poetry fun and meaningful for your kids. You can write a poem together, or if your kids aren't writing yet, you can be their scribe. Take a walk around your neighborhood or your house to find a subject for your poem, make the poem silly or goofy, or have your kids write a poem and someone else can guess the title or the topic. Writing these poems also provides a great opportunity for artistic expression. Your kids can draw, paint, color, or find online graphics to help publish their poetry. Wouldn't it be fun to call or FaceTime friends and family to perform their poetry? 
Check back here for more strategies and go to www.nighthouse.org to find out more about what we do or reach out to us at info at Take care, everyone.